Hey, look up at the sky. It's a C5. Where? I don't see it. I don't hear anything. Oh, right. It's a C5M. It's quiet. You're not going to hear it. This is the review of the Gemini Max C5M Super Galaxy from Dover Air Force Base. The base transitioned to C5Ms entirely in April 2012, when the last C5B left Georgia to be refitted in C5M. Basically the same box as the Gemini Max C5B Galaxy from Dover, except the C5B Galaxy from Dover the Gemini Jets, the Gemini Max first release of the C5, actually came with its own display stand, and so far it's the only one that has. Relatively the same box. August 2012 release. Specification. Now this aircraft is powered by F-138 engines, which that's the military term for it but the actual name for the engine is the civilian CF-6 engines, which power planes like the 757 and DC-10 and stuff like that. Now I've got to say, more than the C-5B Galaxy from Dover, this plane, the amount of detail that was put into this plane, makes the C-5B Galaxy from Dover look like a toy. brighter tail flash than the one in the C5B Galaxy from Dover, and it's got the uh, Super Galaxy tail wipe on the bottom. The registration number for this one is 31285. Hard to notice. Just read it out for you. There are the CF6 slash F138 engines. And those engines are nicely detailed. They don't have the same slots around the engines that the C5, A, B, and C do, which is why the engines don't make an awesome sound like the C5B does. But if you ever see a C5M take off anywhere, it actually does have, it, has, uh, have its own distinct whine. Nowhere near as cool as the TF-39's whine, but it's got a whine. I'll put a video of the C5M. By. They're roughly the same features of the previous model. Now, like I said before, I'm already going to uh, give my points out of it. Uh, it's a 9 out of 10, but like I said the last reason, um, because of the wings, on the actual plane, the wings are so heavy that they actually droop really low down to the ground. But like I said in the last video, they're up a little bit higher. So, still really doesn't deter me. The engines, the, the fan blades inside the engines are actually darker than the C5B Galaxy. And that's all of the C5B Galaxies from Gemini Jets. All I've got are C5Bs right now. A uh, little, little warning though, the tips of the CF, the tips of the CF6 engines, F138 engines right there at the back are incredibly sharp. Uh, they're pointy. I wouldn't really touch it unless you want to prick yourself. <coughs> essentially the same details. It has the same details as the C5 B Galaxy. It's got the refueling receptacle. It's got the cockpit. It's got the two little white lines, which if anybody was ever wondering what those two little white lines are, if you've ever seen the C5 A Galaxy or B Galaxy with the classic white top color scheme, those little white lines are the indentation of where that giant black dot on the nose right arm used to be. The big black nose. Like I said, after the Gemini Jets C5B Galaxy release. All C5 Galaxy models come with the white rims now. That's how they are on the real plane. This is a really, really nice model. Once again, I highly, highly recommend this. This aircraft, along with the C-17 and the C-130 Hercules, are the, is an Air Force workhorse. And now with the new improved CF-6 or F-138 engines, 
the modernization program, the AMP upgrades, this plane will become one of, if not the best plane that the Air Force has to offer. All the things that the C-17 can do, C-5M can do. Ever seen a C? You ever seen a C-17 do a uh, tactical takeoff? C-5M Galaxy can do it. It is almost, if not as versatile as the C-17, and is nearly twice the C-17 size. They plan to keep this air. They can They plan to keep this aircraft, this airframe around until 2040 and, or past that date. And I actually plan on joining the Air Force soon. And I want to work on C-5s. I'd, I'd rather, I want to get stationed at Travis Air Force Base or Dover Air Force Base and work on C-5s. I'd probably go with Dover Air Force Base even though they have C-5Ms and not the C-5Bs that have the classic PF-39 grinding sound. But so yeah, I highly recommend this model. If you got a chance to pick it up, do it. It's a really nice addition to have in your collection. And if you're trying to do like what I'm doing right now and building a Dover fleet. Makes a great addition to your collection. I believe I'm the first person to review the C5M Galaxy, the Super Galaxy from Dover. So yeah, I highly recommend it. Pick it up if you got a chance. It's still on sale on the Gemini Mac, I mean the Gemini Jets website under the Gemini Mac section. And you can find it on eBay relatively easy, unlike the C5B. My next review will be the C5B Galaxy from Travis.